Welcome to the Rum Revival. My name is Arminder and today I'm highlighting a number of newly released and newly announced rums from the last month. Now these aren't necessarily available everywhere in the US, at least not right now. Some of these rums have only just come out or have just been announced, so it might take a few weeks before they're available everywhere, but definitely keep an eye out for them. In terms of newly announced rums, the first one, in my opinion, is the big one. It's Eldorado's newest release, the High Ester Blend. Now, this is a blend of two marks or base distillates that were distilled in 2012 and that have been aged in ex bourbon casks for about 11 to 12 years and then bottled at cast strength at 57% ABV. Now, first of all, the fact that it's 57% ABV, I'm already on board. Now, the first mark is the DHE or Diamond High Ester mark. Now, fermentation for the DHE mark takes several months to complete before it's ready to be distilled. Yeah, months. Then distillation takes place on the Diamond High Ester still, which is a small double retort pot still. Now that still is capable of making rums with ester levels up to 7,000 grams per hectoliter of pure alcohol. Now don't worry what grams per hectoliter of pure alcohol means, but just as reference, Jamaican distilleries are legally only allowed to make rums up to 1,600 grams per hectoliter of pure alcohol. So yeah, the second mark is the rarely seen LBI mark, which stands for La Bonne Attention. This is a recreation of a mark made at the now defunct La Bonne Attention estate on the east coast of Guyana, which was closed in 1959. Now it's made on the French Saval multi calm still and is described as a medium bodied rum with a distinct honeyed profile. So what does a high ester Guyanese rum look like? or rather taste like, no idea, but we'll find out. I am very excited for this one. No, and there's no info on how much this is going to cost, but I suspect it'll be similar to what the cast strength single still releases from a couple of years back were priced at. So around like 130 to $150, but we shall see. Next up is Shakara 12 year. This is a molasses based rum from Thailand and it's brought in by Lemison and Velier. Now Thailand is one of the biggest growers of sugarcane in the world and some of the earliest traces of sugarcane cultivation can be found in Southeast Asia. Now given all of that, the name of the brand comes from the Sanskrit word for sugar, shakar. Now the molasses for the rum is made from locally grown sugar cane and the rum is calm distilled and aged 12 years in ex bourbon casks fully in Thailand. It's bottled at 45.7% ABV and is additive, sugar, and color free. Also, I have a bottle right over there and if you want to see my first impression of it, check out my Patreon page, there's a link below, and you'll find a video where I crack open the bottle and give my gut reaction to it. Up next is the newest addition to 10 to 1's core lineup, the 5 Origin Select. As with the other rums in their lineup, the white rum and the dark rum, this is a blend of rums from a number of different Caribbean countries. As the title suggests, it's specifically five countries. We've got Trinidad, Barbados, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, and lastly, and what they're really pushing in their marketing and branding is Guyana. And it's not just any Guyanese rum, it's rum from Demerara Distiller's iconic Port Morant double wooden pot still. Now the Port Morant rum in the blend is 11 to 15 years old. Now, how much of it is in the blend and how old are the rest of the components? They don't really say, but it is bottled at a decent 46% ABV, which is nice to see as their dark rum is only 40%. It MSRPs for $65 and is currently available on their website for purchase. Next up, we have a new rum from Indiana-based independent bottler Rolling Fork. Now, usually they source and release cast strength rums that they've finished in different cast types, but for this release, they're trying their hands on more of a cocktail focused rum. This is their heart of gold. It's a four barrel blend of rums from Barbados and Jamaica. So the blend breaks down like this. From Barbados, we have a three to four year old pot column blend from Foursquare. And then from Jamaica, we have the following, a one year old pot still rum from Worthy Park, a three to four year old pot still rum from Worthy Park. And then finally, we have a two year old calm still rum from Clarendon Distillery. It's bottled at 50.5% ABV and MSRPs for $39.99. Next up is the newest release from Brugal out of the Dominican Republic. This is their Maestro Reserva. Now this is gonna be a permanent addition to their core lineup. Now Brugal makes this rum using what they're calling their dark aromatic toasting technique. Yeah, how mysterious is that, right? Now, according to the press release, this quote, naturally sweetens the liquids to create a rum that is free of external sugars and additives. So here's how I understand how it works. So the column distilled rum is first aged for some indeterminate time in American sherry oak casks. Then the cask is emptied and immediately toasted to extract natural caramel pearls that are drawn out from the sugars in the wood. The cask is then refilled with the rum and then the rum absorbs those caramel pearls, kind of thus sweetening the rum. Now I'm not super familiar with different cask treatment techniques, so I don't really know if this like caramel pearl thing is a fairly common practice or something unique to Brugal or just a bunch of like fancy marketing speak. 
I do know that it's bottled at 41.2% ABV and priced at $200. Yeah. Now this will initially only be available in Florida, Texas, and New Jersey, but will expand to other markets over the year. Let's move on to another rum from the Dominican Republic. This time it's Rom Barcelo and their Imperial Porto cask. Now this is the first in their rare blends collection series, which essentially takes their Imperial rum, which is an aged, calm distilled cane juice rum, and finishes it in different cask types. Now with this particular release, this rum has been finished in tawny port wine casks. Now even though it's made from cane juice, don't expect this to taste green or grassy. The distillate that comes out of the still is at around like 95% ABV, so it's fairly neutral in flavor and aroma. Future releases in the Rare Blend series will include a maple cask and a Mizunara cask. They're all bottled at 40% ABV and the MSRP for $59.99. Now lastly, we have four rums from Renegade Rum in Grenada. Here's the thing, these rums were actually announced back in November or December of last year, and I've been keeping my eye out for them on the retail shelves, but I haven't actually seen them anywhere, so I hadn't really included them in any one of these like new release videos that I've been doing, but apparently they've been in select markets for a couple of months now, just not the select markets that I've been selecting or, or checking. So I'm fixing that by finally talking about them here. Renegade is framing these four releases as their flagship lineup here in the US. Prior to this, their major focus was unaged rums, with each bottling highlighting a single farm. Now, with this core lineup, they're kind of broadening the scope of the kinds of rums that they put out. First up is what Renegade is calling their ultimate all-island expression. This is their all-island cuvee, Nova. This is a pot and calm blend of rums made from canes grown and harvested from all over the island. In total, there are five different cane types grown on six different farms. The rums are aged a little less than two years in a number of different cast types, including first fill bourbon casks, new American oak, French oak, and Andean oak. The rums are blended together and then bottled at 46% ABV and an MSRP is for $59.99. The next release is the single farm cuvee Dunfermline. Now this is a pot and calm blend of rums made from canes grown and harvested from a single farm, the Dunfermline farm. In total, this rum consists of three different cane types grown on three different fields on the farm. The rums are aged a little over two years in first fill ex bourbon casks and French oak casks, then they're blended together and bottled at 50% ABV and an MSRP is for $69.99. Drilling down further, we're going from an all island to a single farm to now a single field on a farm. The next release is Micro Origin Hope. This is a pot still rum made from a single cane varietal that was grown and harvested from a single field on one farm. The varietal in question is Lodger, and the field is called Swimming Pool, and the name of the farm is Hope. Don't look at me, I, I didn't come up with these names. Now the rum is aged about a year and a half in first fill ex bourbon casks, new American oak, and French oak. They're blended together and bottled at 55% ABV, and the bottle MSRP is for $79.99. Now the last release in the lineup is an unaged rum, the Cuvée Aura. Now this is a pot and calm blend of rums made from three cane varietals and grown on three different farms. The rums are blended and bottled at 46% ABV and an MSRP is for $49.99. Well, there you go. That's all of the newly announced and released rums from the last month or so. Now, before I go, real quick, if you're interested in some behind the scenes content, bonus footage, and first impressions videos, then check out my Patreon page and consider supporting me over there. There's a bunch of content there that I think you might actually like. Now, in terms of these new releases, are you planning on buying any of these? Are you as excited about the Eldorado High Ester blend as I am? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.